What's going on, people? Today, we're going to be talking about eBay tools and Bumble bitches. All right. All right, so I bought a video game from this guy a few months ago. All right, so one, after I bought it, he tells me this. He's like, uh, there is no tracking number. Uh, the delivery date is April 25th to May 8th. All right. Please allow it to be delivered. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, it came two days late. Of course, there was no tracking number. The freaking disc was like scratched to hell and back. So I left the guy positive feedback, but I said in there, you know, it it was late uh, customer or seller didn't, you know, describe that it had scratches, you know, blah, 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 blah. So fucking midnight movies here comes back with this horse shit. Hi, just making sure that we're both on the same page, blah, blah, blah. It's clearly noted that the listing approximately delivery time, blah, 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 Thursday between, uh, April 25th and, uh, Wednesday, May 8th. Did you not see the traits? I cannot, I, I can do screenshots. Also, the disc has never been described as mint condition. Okay. I never said it was mint condition. First off, it came on May the 10th. And I said the disc had scratches, not that it was in mint condition. I don't know where the fuck you're getting that from, dude. This has, should have no problems working. Yeah, because I had it cleaned at the fucking video game store. Now it has no problems. I'm not meaning to come off as rude. Ha, <laughs> well, looks like you are, buddy. Looks like you are. Here's what I said back to the jackass. I saw the delivery times you gave, but it was delivered May 10th, which is not April 25th to May 8th. The disc was labeled as good in the auction, but was more on the acceptable side because of all the scratches. This is all I'm saying. Happy sales. Okay. Like, what a fucking idiot. The guy could have just, like, accepted my positive feedback and just moved on. But no, he decided to fucking message me with that horse shit and give me some content for YouTube. I mean, what can I say? Then there's this asshole, always fresh. Wow, how fucking ghetto of a name is that? Anyway, he goes, uh, oh, wait, hold on, that, that's what I sent him. Ha ha! Okay, so here's what happened with this. I sent him a message asking if the discs had any, had any severe scratches or anything. He never replied. Two days pass or something, so I finally just say fuck it and buy it. Then I leave, I leave him a uh, positive feedback, but I said his communication skills need improving badly. So a week later, yes, a week later, I get this message. I get this. I bought this thing last week. I, I got this message yesterday. You literally bought the item within an hour of asking the question. Uh, if you think two days is an hour, asshole, then uh, you need to go back to fucking grade school. I didn't respond because you you had already bought it. Oh, hey, great customer service skills. Awesome customer service skills. Let me just go to Walmart and purchase something and then ask the guy in electronics a question about it so uh, he can just like stare me blank in the face and walk away. Wow, what kind of fucking logic do you have? Always fucking fresh. How about always fresh out of fucking sense? Your comment, he said, he said, your comment was lousy and unwarranted. People have lives, jobs outside eBay. Hey, always fresh. You are fucking lousy and unwarranted. So, here's what I wrote back to him. Welcome to last week, buddy. A little late, aren't you? No, I asked before I bought it and never got a reply, so then I bought it. Try better communication next time. And you won't get quote unquote lousy and unwant unwarranted feedback comments. Yeah, people have lives, but when you sell something on eBay, customer service should come into effect. Think on this and remember it for next time. Now, good day. And if he would have emailed me back with some other bullshit, I would have I would have said something along the lines 
of hang on let me uh see if i can find uh, some shits to give nope i'm all out of shits to, i'm i'm all out of shits to give sorry probably because i'm always fresh out of shits to give i was going to say something like that or i was going to say something like Oh, look, it's Mr. I can't reply to a uh, message unless somebody leaves me quote unquote unwarranted and lousy feedback and I get butt hurt about it. Sorry, I'm always fresh out of shits to give. Yeah, that's what I sh that that's that's what I should have said. Yeah. So anyway, Mr. Always Fresh Out of Your Mind, Mr. Ghetto Always Not So Fresh, Always Fresh in the Ghetto. That is so fucking ghetto. That's like the ghettoest name. Well, besides, you know, ghetto rappers and shit, they have pretty fucking stupid names. And before you go uh, start saying that I'm racist and everything, no, I listen to Snoop Dogg, I have black friends. It's just... Sometimes things are just too ghetto for me to handle. And this guy's name is one of them. All right, let's move on to the Bumble bitches. Hey, look, there's the data tab I was talking about in my last video. Oops, turned Wi-Fi off. All right, this girl's cute. Let's see what kind of stupid shit she has uh, in her profile here. Well, this one actually isn't so bad. Let me find one that's just totally just out there. Oh, your God, what is up with her fucking eyebrows? Oh, she has a MacBook. Yeah, might as well swipe her to the left. Oh, I like this one. She just has a bunch of pictures up. Nothing describing dick, just pictures. Yeah, pictures are a real way to go. Maybe try to put something in your profile next time. Okay, this girl wins. I like that. Know the difference between there, there, and there. All right, you get swiped to the right. You're cute, too. Once again, pictures only. How hard is it to put something in the profile description? I mean, really? Oh, here we go. My name is Bethany, and I am a princess. Really? Like, what? what country do you have royalty in? If you are not trying to change it to queen, don't swipe. Um, I can't change it to queen. Um, you, you're going to have to take that up with your country's parliament. I mean, sorry. I, 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 I can't help you. Oh, Lord. Let's see what this one says, if anything. Nothing. Nothing. What the fuck? Here's one that's kind of shitty. Uh, she likes a lot of the things that I like, except Bama games. Those suck. Roll Tide? Yeah, the Tide got rolled by fucking Clemson, all right. Christian, eh. Southern Bell. Okay. What the fuck? Originally from Birmingham, now living in Nashville, Tennessee? Th th that's like... Two hours away or more. Three hours. I don't fucking know. Why, why in the fuck is she even popping up if she lives in fucking Tennessee? Good job, Bumble. Good job. People with dogs are always more attractive. No. Fuck dogs. Dogs are fucking dirty. They slobber all over the place. And they fucking try to jump all over you. I hate it when they put this fucking shit in. Mom to a beautiful little girl. Really? Like, I, I haven't even seen your fucking daughter, so how do I know how beautiful she fucking is or not? A mom of two to the sweetest kiddos. Really? Because I thought the last girl, uh, you know, that I didn't show in video, I thought her kids were the sweetest kids. So, uh, looks like, uh, you know, gotta iron out some uh, false claims here. Well, this girl's got a lot of things going for her. Except she looks like a fucking butch dyke with that haircut. Alright, emo chick. Let's see. 
add me on Facebook if you want. Um, I don't know if you know how Facebook works, but it kind of helps if you know the person's last name to, uh, you know, narrow it down there in the search so you can actually add the person, the right person. And look at that. I'm all out of uh, girls to swipe. And uh, imagine, imagine that. Well, this video kind of sucked because I didn't find any of the girls that say like, "Oh, I'm I'm super conservative, and uh, if if, uh, if if you don't go deer hunting, then swipe left." And you know, my kids, uh, the blah blah blah, and 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 I'm I'm, I'm a Republican. Ba 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 ba. I I like Trump, uh, dictator, Nazi, racist, asshole, narcissistic, fascist Trump. Uh, yeah, so I couldn't find any of those, but um, that's what I was looking for. But it uh, it wasn't meant to be. Maybe the next video. Oh, and here's another thing that pisses me off about you Alabama girls. It's like we match. And on Bumble, the girl has to send a message first. So this girl messaged me. So I messaged back. Hello, hello. How are you? And fucking nothing. What was the point of fucking matching with me if you're not going to fucking talk to me? What the fuck? And yes, that was a while ago. It says June 17th right there. I don't know if you could see it. And then other girls actually, you know, talk to me for a little bit. And then when I start like... Asking questions, they they just they just ghost me. It's like, uh, what? Am I not allowed to fucking ask questions? Like, what the fuck? Anyway, I'm tired of this. Bumble fucking sucks. Just like Tinder sucks and plenty of fish sucks. They're all the fucking same. They all have the fucking same girls on there. It's like, oh well, I, I have a bunch of shit in common with this guy, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe him to the left. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, you fucking Alabama girls are just something else. You you either think your shit don't stink like my ex-girlfriend, Portia, uh, when it reeks like a fucking landfill, you're crazy as fuck, you eat, or you don't fucking just give a shit. Or you're you're just into your fucking self, like you're 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 just totally into your fucking self that you you just you're just all about you, you and only fucking you. That's the kind of fucking girls that live here in Birmingham, fucking Alabama. Fuck. I guess I need to fucking move or something. Shit. I mean, what in the fuck is wrong with you women? At this rate, I might as well just get a hooker. Shit.